to. We are here. I'm back with some more Danganronpa dedication. This is chapter one, episode number two. I'm excited for this one. Hopefully, we get to see some big stuff. What? Where did we leave off last time? I don't even remember. Was it just the prologue? Was it? Did we watch the prologue last time, or was it the prologue and chapter one, episode one? I'd have to look. Wait, hold on. Oh, it was just episode one, so it was the prologue, right? Was there even a pro? Oh, there was a prologue. There was three parts to a prologue. We watched a lot of dedication. Yo. Okay. Hey, we really out here. But YouTube, y'all already know. Come to the streams over here on Twitch. I would truly appreciate that. And uh, let's go ahead and start this up. I don't remember the characters. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I hope they give me like a refresher. Like, <laughs> I need it. Someone's at the door. I wonder who. What's up? Yuma, okay. Yo, everyone's head to the bistro to discuss what we've explored today. And you should probably hurry because Megumi already yelled at me for not calling you sooner. He's got that Nagito shirt on. <laughs> uh, give me a second. I'll be there soon. I remember, the, okay, the pro tag in this one is cool. I like him. I like his design. You could take all the time you want. Don't blame me if she shouts at you for being late. See ya. Lucky headphones. He's got a point. I should head there now. I think, isn't this the fan game that had a lot of lore too? I feel like there was a lot of Easter eggs and references in this one. There you are. Oh, Hitomi is cute. Want some coffee? Now everyone's here. Coffee? Oh yeah, okay, ultimate barista. And she was the basketball player, right? Why do you offer coffee to everyone? Because it's polite. Coffee? I want yeah. coffee. Uh, sure, I'll take it. How about you, Naohiko? I'll pass. B-ball girl. Say. I'll take some. Yeah, okay, he was the ultimate uh, actor, okay. But I didn't offer you any. Oh. Oh yeah, she gave me the uh, the Von Karma look. I like her, the Francisca Von Karma. I remember her. You gotta tone down your ca caffeine intake. That's the guy who looks like he's never gotten a wink of sleep. <laughs> Aw, come on. My eyes close whenever I blink. That's enough rest, isn't it? True. I love coffee too. Oh, what sucks is coffee stains your teeth. That definitely isn't healthy. Hmm. Are we done wasting time? Chill, man. You want a cup of... Stop that. All right. All right, all right. I've messed around enough. Let's start discussing. I got this. She looks like Winter from Ruby. She does. Ooh, ooh, me first. Remember how I said that the forest was super dense? I tried going further in today, and it's really weird. So many trees. Most of the trees are in close proximity, and the leaves sort of bunch up together, so barely any light gets in. Bye, Club Grizz. Thanks for stopping by. It'd be impossible to navigate it without a flashlight, even during the day. It gets pretty dark. How do you how do you guys like coffee? Coffee wakes you up. I like that bitter taste too. Coffee's really good. And you can make coffee as sweet as you want, you know. You ever been to Starbucks? Have you ever gotten a frappuccino? Also, we don't know how big the outskirts are. They just look big because there are so many trees. I've never had coffee. Coffee's life. When I was a kid, I didn't like coffee though. Hmm. Tea is a lot better for you. I would say drink tea. So you're saying there's a chance it's a tiny forest? And if we walk just a bit longer, we'll get out? No. It doesn't work like that. Trust me, I know. It's more likely that it's a giant forest, isn't it? Ooh! What's up? Blue Toad's 
screaming. Thank you so much for the sub. Ooh, watching a great streamer, watching a fangan while I work on a fangan. I'll take that to go. Hey, what fangan are you working on? That's kind of dope. Thank you so much. Unless our kidnappers are idiots, they wouldn't have left us in a place from which we could have easily escape. He's right. For once, I agree. Actually, that's the second time you've agreed with him. What's up, mask kid? How have you been? Shut up, ribbon hair. Anyway, from my investigation, says the guy who has Uchida in his last name. What are you, Sasuke's brother? Our investigation? My investigation. I've noticed that all sorts of brochures, magazines, or any other type of information about this place is long gone. Working on one called Blades of Despair, a written fan again. How's it going, Blaze? Good. That sounds fun. Please send that to me when you're, uh, when you can. I'd appreciate it. They must have been removed on purpose so that we don't learn anything useful. Yeah. You started school today? I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. My sisters are telling me that the campsite is definitely connected to Okotan Academy somehow. But whoever brought us here destroyed every trace of it. I like how this fangan doesn't use Hope's this Peak. And it has its own academy. So there's nothing here that looks out of the ordinary. Ayuna is cute. Not quite. Have you seen the mine? It's completely out of place. And it's also the only area that we can't access as of, as of now. Kyosho looking like Kirigiri gender bent. You sure there aren't any secret ways inside? How strange. Well, if there are, they're a secret for a reason. Demons. We didn't find any. Maybe it's disguised by the power of some evil entity lurking around the campgrounds. Kyusha is sexy? Agreed. Here we go again. What do you think of that idea, Sugumi? Huh? Yeah, that's cool, Blue Toad. Send it to me. Eh, me? Yeah, you're an alchemist. You've had to deal with spiritual rituals, haven't you? Well... I think you're talking about the fictional ones. See? You should probably cut the crap with this paranormal stuff and... What's up, Serabini? This isn't a game, sadly. This is a video series called Danganronpa Dedication. It's awesome. But I can help you set up a magic circle to summon a demon if you want. Oh my god. What? Why do you know this? Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's Fiji water. I love Fiji water. Best water on earth. When I was researching on alchemy, I accidentally delved too deep into the fictional stuff before I realized it wasn't what I was looking for. I'm bougie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't drink normal tap water. I'm bougie. Awesome. Let's hold a ritual sometime. We're getting sidetracked again. He reminds me of the character in Danganronpa New World Order. Back on topic. While Reika and I didn't find anything location-wise, there's something else that we found. I'm too poor for that. <laughs> yeah, if you're a college kid, you probably can't afford it. We did. The e-handbooks. You're the one who noticed them in the first place. Oh, uh -huh, thanks, Sarah Beanie. I appreciate it. Oh, right. Um. Well, are you going to explain? You kind of would like to hear. Do I have to? Uh, okay, okay, fine. First of all, if you take a look at the e-handbook, you'll see that the rules got updated. There's also something about a class trial if someone dies. A what now? I didn't know dedication was going to get a new episode like this. This is awesome. I don't know what it is either. This is such a high quality it fan like... game. It only mentioned that a class trial would be held after a murder, but there aren't many details. The coffee dude gives me chapter three killer vibes. Ooh. I agree. That or the, the doctor. That's quite annoying. The bear isn't even thorough enough to explain his own game. It's 
Speaking of which, has anyone seen Monokuma at all since yesterday? No. Um... I haven't seen him. Not me. Hmm. Hmm. I find it strange that he won't talk to us directly. A lot of my questions would be cleared up if he came here. He probably isn't showing up because... He's broken. Because what? That's not fun. Lost my train of thought. Wait, what? No! That doesn't help us any. Oh, there was another rule, wasn't there? Now, Hiko? About the bistro? That's right. All oh, right. We checked the kitchen in this place. And there's a notice written here. Apparently, the bistro closes at 10 p.m. I like how they actually have to explore around instead of Monokuma just kind of like spoon feeding them everything. So if I just stayed in here and I get locked inside. Is that your plan for tonight? These sprites are really good. These are high quality sprites. Maybe. Ah, that's not what ha would happen. I think if you stay indoors past 10 p.m., the bistro stays open and anyone can come inside. Really? Does it work like that? The second it's empty, the doors are locked. I see. What's up, Skello? I'm assuming this is an automatic system that detects if anyone's inside. So it seems. I'll admit that these facilities are quite advanced. Along with them, there's also a standard infirmary. Yeah, nothing weird about that place other than the guy that was in there with me. <laughs> oh my god. What are you implying? Did you say something? No. Nope. <laughs> anyway, it's reassuring to know that you can get yourself patched up in case anything happens. Aru straight up has a guess I'll die sprite and I live for it. Like a murder attempt? It's easy to get injured in a forest anyway. That's what Yuma probably meant. You're quite persistent that no one's going to try and kill someone. I'm positive. That's because nobody will. I guarantee it. You know how many times I've heard that? Yeah. And aren't you the one insisting that someone's going to die? I'm just saying. No, I'm just trying to be realistic. Oof. Those are the rules of the game, after all. It's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, at least someone here's got a brain. You can be as happy-go-lucky as you want, but you're just putting your guard down that way. I agree. I really mean no offense, Satomi, but he's right. I feel like Hitomi's gonna die. That's my prediction. Sorry. She's too happy go lucky. I just think it would keep the morale up if we could all trust each other. She's got death flags written all over her. She's like the Kaide of this fan gan. I totally get what you mean, and it's fine. We may as well get along with each other if we're going to be stuck here for a while. Unless they pull something where the protag dies. Yeah. And then she ends up being the protag. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't even take much effort. Everyone is so cool that I can have fun hanging out with any with anybody. Besides, we've only been here for like a day. There is bound to be some sort of exit that we haven't found yet. Give it some time. And on that note, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? Me writing a fan gan? Happiness. Ha, kill it. <laughs> right? Yeah, let's head back. I'm dead tired from all the exploration today. Sounds good. Everybody should get some sleep. You're one to talk. You're right. 
But you're correct. We can meet up here again tomorrow morning to discuss our next course of action. Later. All right, then. I'm out of here. I gotta wake up early. I see. I'll be returning to my cabin as well. Hey, bro, can I ask you something? Of course. What's up? Bye, everyone. What's up? Aren't you leaving? Yes. Oh, I am. I was just thinking about a few things. How about you? Yuma will be dying in chapter five as a victim. Mark my words. You think so? I'm doing fine. Uh... Hey, about what you said earlier. Once again, I'm just being realistic. I don't want any murders to occur either, you know? I'd like to see... I know a lot of you guys probably like Kyo, uh, Kyushu, but Kyushu, sorry. But I would kind of want to see a character like that end up being a victim. I know, I'm mean, but I, I'm, I'm kind of tired of characters like this. Like, I, I really want them to go. Like, <laughs> can't he be the second one to go? No, I'm kidding. But we, but we don't always get what we want. Take care now, Hiko. I'll see you around. We don't always get what we want, huh? No, we don't. I should head back to my cabin as well. Basically... Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Lewis... I got you, Lewis. Hold up. We'll take a break. Let's, let's pause real quick. Let's, let's pause. Let's get back into it. That was fun. Thanks for that question. That was a fun question. On my way back, I heard an unsettling conversation. Stop it. I told you. I forgot what I was saying. I don't even think it was important. Just wait a moment. It sounded quite important to me. Why do you think Monokuma isn't showing up? What are you going to do with this information anyway? Burnout on other things is something I wouldn't wish on people? Yeah. The more we know about our situation, the better the chances of us getting out. You used to make content for Godzilla? That's crazy. Either way, I don't remember what I was saying, so... I know you didn't forget. Yo, what is that sprite? Wait, go back! What is this sprite right here? What? You're not going to leave me alone until I tell you, huh? Oh, dang. Ooh, she cheated on you, dragon? That's horrible. I'm sorry. Monokuma can't show up in person if the one controlling him is too busy. Too busy doing what? Interesting. Ah, I see what you're hinting at. That's a good point. I don't know. But I'm just making random guesses. It probably doesn't make any sense. So where Rake is coming from is it's got to be somebody that is participating in the game. I see. The one you're talking about who doesn't directly uh, blah, 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 blah. Go back. I see. The one you're talking about doesn't directly control Monokuma, though. All 16 of us were there when he appeared for the first time, remember? That's true. You show sus? I know. That's why I told you to forget it. What if Kyusho ends up being a, a culprit? That'd be crazy. But you may be right about a few things. To be honest, I've always had a sneaking suspicion that the one behind this game is... Wait, what? <sighs> Can I go now? Wait, no, I didn't get to hear the answer. All right, I'm sorry for bothering you. No! Keep bothering her. It's rude to eavesdrop, you know. Wait, how did you see me? Ah. Oh. Hmm? Oh, sorry if that's what that looked like. No, that, that is what it was. Now he go, please. I was just walking by when I saw the two of you talking, but I couldn't hear anything since you guys were far away. Oh, all right then. 
Got any plans for the rest of the evening? Imamura, I gotta ask you a question. Not really. But it'll be after the stream, though. Not really. I was just gonna go to sleep. All right. Good night, then. Same to you. The perks of being the ultimate actor. That was surprisingly easy. And yet, I don't remember ever lying so naturally like this. Hmm. I must be overthinking it. I should hurry up and get back to my cabin. Uh-oh, foreboding? I know, right? Attention, everyone! It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime is officially in effect. Sweet dreams. Aww. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to spend another night sleeping here, but there isn't much I can do about it. Using our talent outside of the trial? It's been two days since we woke up here. Hey, we're good at acting. So far, we haven't found a way out. But like Ayuna said, I should just give it a time. It's best if I go to sleep, but that's going to be hard after what I just heard between Kyusho and Reika. Someone controlling Monokuma? The one behind this game. And what do they mean by too busy? More importantly, is it speculation or do they actually know something that the rest of us don't? The mastermind is me. Ugh, I don't know what's going on. For now, I better get some shut eye. We never got to see a detective killer in the canon series, have we? No. No detectives have killed in the canon series. Sadly. That'd be crazy though, imagine. That'd be a hard case to solve. Rise and shine, everyone! It's officially 7 a.m. Let's wake up bright and early and do our best today. Okay. Another day at this campsite. I thought we'd be out of here by now. But I guess not. Kyo will take your heart. Well, I'm starving. So I better go to the bistro. I wonder who else is up already. 7 a.m. is kind of early. I don't even wake up that early. On my way to the bistro, I was surprised to see a pair of people together. Uh, what are you two doing? What are they doing? We're obviously training to channel the demonic energy in these campgrounds. We're just doing some basic stretches. Or, at least, I am. Their posture is completely wrong. Oh my gosh. I was about to go for my morning run when they decided to tag along. Really? Haru's the last person I expected to work out. Guys! I can hear you, you know? I agree with that, though. This isn't just some basic stretching. This is a special technique that you've got to learn to master if you want to open your eyes and see the spirits lurking around this place. Careful now, Hiko. If you stand too close to us, you might just attract a demon and get possessed. <laughs> Why am I always the target for this? Why not Otoa? Otoa? <laughs> try to throw me under the bus. Unlike you. She's already trained enough to defend herself from any sort of possession. Oops. You, on the other hand, are the weak, fragile, she is and stupid looking target that the demons would go after. Hey, that'll look stupid. Haru, if you're done stretching, let's go for a jog. What? Oh, no way. No can do. Uh, uh, I've, uh, uh, already, oh my god, this feels uh, like... overexerted myself. This feels like a dog and rampa game, what? dude. Standing in the same pose for two minutes. I love this. By training to see the hidden spirits clearly. We've been over this. Sure, someone's making excuses. Anyway, I'm done for the day. That was pretty fun. You gotta stay in shape. You know, I don't mind working out with other people. I'd encourage everyone to train together if I could. If you're ever up for it, just talk to me. 
weak, fragile, no, and okay. stupid looking. I know, she said that. Although, I like hanging out with you. There's no way I'm doing this every day. You didn't do much in the first place. I don't remember asking you, demon bait. Later. I'm going to run a few laps around this place now. See ya. Look at the HUD. The HUD looks so good. And I'm getting out of here too. What a weird duo. But at least they're getting along. They're like literally two opposites getting together. It's amazing. Look at this. Oh my God. The transitions. This is amazing. There are far less people in the bistro today. They're probably asleep or have other plans. Not that it's an issue since we don't have anything important to discuss this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Naohiko. Good morning. Hey, Hitomi. Reika's asleep at the table. Uh... Is she... Um... When she first showed up here, I was surprised to see her up early. I'm not surprised anymore. If this fan game wasn't only going up through chapter one, I'd guarantee either Otoha or Haru would die, provided one of them isn't one of the chapter's deaths. That's crazy. Less people equals possible body discovery. True. It's the thought that counts. I, I don't think falling asleep at a table counts as being thoughtful. You there. What brings you here now, Hiko? It's Francisca! Uh, breakfast? Right. I'm quite annoyed that nobody else is here. But unfortunately, I can't change that today. I think Hitomi's gonna die first. That's my prediction. I'm not complaining about some peace and quiet for a change. Oh man. I wish there were more people here. Hey, Doc Brooke! Hi! Welcome! What's up? How have you been? If only it was quieter. I hope the others are having a good time. I'm pretty sure they are. I saw Otoa and Haru hanging out on my way to the bistro. Yeah, yeah I did. Mas Mas kid, I did. I said, if Megumi dies, I'm done with this fan game. And I stick to that. But, you know, it's already ending at chapter one, but still. Cool. I think I met Luna before I got here. I guess most of them are just doing their own thing. If they're all off on their own, I doubt anyone else will be coming today. Megumi is so cute. Isn't she cute? She's beautiful. Wrong. I'm coming too. Oh, it's Monokuma, of course. <laughs> Did you miss me? Monokuma? I'll take that as a yes, but not to worry. Your favorite adorable mascot is right here. On the contrary, any other animal would be less annoying than you. Ah, so heartless. I have feelings too, you know. He's so cute though. Why would you say that to him? I don't think anyone really cares. Unbelievable. You have excellent taste. Thank you. Thank you. I try. Unbelievable! Hey. You guys are just a bunch of bullies. Why would you hey. bully this bear? Cut it out. What do you want? Well, can a bear just drop by to say hello? I'm you? No patient. way. You, just get to the point. All right. You caught me red-handed. I do have a reason for coming here. I have some very important information for all of you. Uh-oh. What is he going to tell us? Then why aren't you speaking when all of us are around? Whoa! Ah! I thought you were asleep! His annoying voice woke me up. Well, excuse me! Answer my question. Um... Well, I'm just, just very shy around crowds. Come on, we know you're not. Don't lie to us. All the attention makes me ner anxious. Uh, That's a lie. But go on. Anyway, I'm sure you've realized by now that you're all students of Hokutan Academy. 
So this killing game is connected to the academy after all. If they know their students are in danger, they're bound to come and rescue us. Yeah, that's what you think. But that's not what's going to happen. Yeah, well, don't count on it. Even if you've already studied at Hokatan, they... Now, wait just a second. We've never been to the school. We only got the accepted letters recently. You're quite a horrible liar, aren't you? Whoops. Fatal, you can do that. I'd appreciate that. Ah! Me and my big mouth. Had I known it was part of your forgotten memories, I wouldn't have brought it up so soon. Oh, yeah? Hold on. Hold on. What did you just say? Forgotten memories. <laughs> Is this Kingdom Hearts? Eh. Cat's already out of the bag, so I might as well let you know. Your memories have been wiped. Of course. Of course. What? <laughs> you are. <laughs> what? Our memories. This isn't huh? a joke. Hey, you can't just say that without any proof. How are we supposed to prove that? All right. Let's ask our favorite actor here a question to prove that your memories have been taken away. No problem, Imamura. I love you. Huh? What do I have to do with any of this? Haven't you been wondering why nobody recognized you even though you're the ultimate actor? That's a good point. No, but let us know. I... That's... He's right. Judging from the look on your face, I'll take it as a yes. Don't be sad. Everybody outside of this forest still knows your name. It's just these guys in particular that have barely heard of you. here let's go wait whoa whoa lewis just said can i just say thank you i i've helped me you guys have helped me get the best girl i got the w boys let's go that is the money right there that is the money congratulations your boy lewis has gotten the best girl in the world and we help. Good advice, right? That film obsessed idiot remembers you because he knew about actors and directors beforehand. Most others would have heard of you after that little incident you caused. Matchmaker Blaze, I I'm telling you, I'm water for O out here. What incident? <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. I keep running my mouth today. The point is... The point is, you became more well-known after attending Hokatan. And if those school days got erased from everyone's memories... Hey, give me Yoshi's gift of the tier 2 sub to Lewis? Shouts out! That, two, that tier 2 sub. Enjoy the sub badges and emotes, Lewis. Then we would never have heard of Naohiko either. Exactly! Now you know I'm not lying about your stolen memories. All this talk about memories reminds me of Kingdom Hearts so much. I'm having Kingdom Hearts PTSD. And exactly how much of our memories have been wiped. Um, um you see. I never used the complicated memory wiping technology before, so I don't know the specifics. Of course you don't. Hmm. But judging from what you seem to know, I'd say it got wiped right up to the moment you received those letters from Hokotan. No problem, Lewis. That's what we're here for. The ultimates. I see. Be balling. So that means we've already started studying at Hokotan Academy, but we have no recollection of it. Here comes the money. The big here sofa. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. Imo, Cross, my boy. Thank you so much for the tier one subs. The five peoples. Mariel Chan, Luminous Mysteries. Rimikusu, Fire and Hearts, and Pile. I appreciate y'all. Enjoy the sub badges and emotes.
to celebrate Lewis's W. That was so nice. That's right. And how long ago was that? Kingdom Hearts PTSD, Dance Water Dance, that one too. Details, details. That's not a minor detail. That's an important piece of information. This has been a good stream. I appreciate you guys for this. Jeez, you guys ask so many questions. I think I'm going dizzy. You ungrateful friend. Either way, I've already told you way more than you deserve to know. So be grateful. Ugh. Mm. All right, for now. I feel like I received a letter only a week ago, but I guess it's been much longer than that. So they've been here longer than they think. Man, I'm confused. If you want me to dumb it down for you, here's a summary. All of you have been to Hokotan Academy. Those memories are gone. You think you've been accepted very recently, but in reality, you've already gone there for a while. You just don't remember. And because you don't remember attending the school, you don't remember the ultimate tenant. So this is kind of like uh, Danganronpa 1, right? There you go. But they're finding out way earlier than the Danganronpa 1 cast did. How did we get to this <laughs> forest? A bear's got to keep his secrets. Of course, you'd leave out the most important detail. Woo! I think that's enough information dubbing for one episode. <laughs> hey, at least you're doing it now and not chapter six. Ah, I forgot to mention one more thing. I have the announcement two days ago. I felt bad about making you guys kill each other. In a couple minutes, it'll be Friday for me in the UK. Doubt it. I can't believe you're treating me like a liar I've, after I've prepared a way for you to get out of here without killing someone. Without killing someone? How? Wait, what? What did you just say? Yeah, I need to hear this. You better clear your ears. I said, I prepared a way out that doesn't involve murder. Really? Yo, that's a twist. Whoa. You're being serious, right? Yes. I finally gone through my character arc where I realized that forcing a bunch of kids to kill each other is inhumane. No freaking way. Not that my humanity matters because I'm a bear. Even so, I decided to be a little nicer to you all. What if they just end this fan game with everyone dying? That'd be crazy. Everyone can leave the campsite after a specific period of time. No strings attached. At one point, you all can walk out of here and go on with your boring lives. Really? Specific period of time? What? Yeah, exactly two months. For two months, you have to live with each other in this campsite, and then you can go home. That's it? I don't believe that. This is incredibly suspicious. Why the sudden change of heart? <laughs> I wouldn't call it a change of heart. After all, the killing game is still on. Okay, but there's got to be some catch. There's got to be some catch. It is. But you just said. What I mean is, after two months, I'll definitely let you go. <laughs> but if you're tired of waiting, you can always kill someone and get out instantly. I've given you the freedom of choice. You can decide what you want to do with it. Someone isn't going to want to say, yeah, I, yeah, I don't think anyone's going to want to stay for two months. But there's a cat. Yeah, see, there it is. There it is. There you go. We're all on the same page. But there's a catch. If by chance someone ends up getting killed before these two months are up, we'll just go back to the way things were with an added challenge. What? Huh? What do you mean? The second somebody dies, I'm rev revoking your get out of jail free card. You'll be stuck here until the end of your days. Oh my God. Imagine. Along with that, I'll be introducing some fun and exciting motives from time to time to persuade you into killing somebody. Yo. That is definitely a twist. Okay. It'll be hard to resist the urge to kill if I show you these motives. Dude. Okay. I like what they did here. I like what they did here. Since you're here, 
What's a class trial? Hmm. Oh, that? I thought I told you guys already. I'm sure our lovely audience knows by now, but I'll explain it anyway. Wait, what audience? Is he talking about us? Once a dead body is discovered, you'll be allocated a certain period of time to investigate. Afterwards, a class trial will take place. It's crazy that they didn't give us this exposition in, uh, in the prologue. During the trial, you'll argue your points to figure out who the black and culprit is. At the end, you all cast your votes. It's us, isn't it? If you're right, only the black and will be punished. If you're wrong, the black and gets to leave the campsite and everyone else will be punished. Okay, at least that's the same. What's this punishment you keep talking about? <laughs> Simply put, execution. You heard him. Execution. Murder comes with a price, after all. If you don't get away with it, you die too. But but but. But if we vote for the wrong person, everyone else gets executed. This is absurd. Yep. That's insane. Insane or not, it's your reality. So you better accept it. Hmm. Then again, I don't know why you're suddenly getting so anxious about it right after I told you that you don't need to kill to get out of here. True. Yeah, that's a good point. Are all the students in here right now? You could take the boring route and leave after two months, but you better be careful. All it takes is one death to really set the killing game into motion. So, if you aren't mindless monsters, we'll take up my offer and patiently wait for these two months to be over. Two months isn't even that long, despair to be honest. Will never die. If not, the only thing you could look forward to is despair upon despair. Dude, like, literally two months is nothing. There's people that stay in prison for years. Decades. That was weird. Everything's gonna be okay. Things are looking up now. We're guaranteed to get out of here. There's that Kaide pose. <laughs> However, how do you know he'll stick to his word? It's true that we cannot confirm his words, but I'd like to think he was being honest. Otherwise, he wouldn't have made the effort to kill to tell us. Yeah, two um, months is 60 or 61 days. Still, there's something fishy about it. Why exactly two months? And why did he give us the opposite of a motive? Oh, geez. I forgot you were still here. <laughs> but I've got to admit, it's pretty weird that one day he says we need to kill each other, and the next he says we don't. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Anyway, since this announcement was made when most people weren't around, we must go and inform the others. Yeah, so not everybody is here. That answered y'all's question. If you see anyone, be sure to let them know about this. Um, what do we even call it? Anti-motive, perhaps? That's got a nice ring to it. I got this. All right. I'll tell everyone I see about the class trial and the anti-motive. I'm glad. I was getting pretty nervous, but now there's no reason to worry. This is good news, isn't it? Yeah, but we don't know what the other motives are. I can't see anything bad come out of the anti-motive. Wait, what? Uh, but we don't always get what we want, dude. What if some, what if somebody already killed? That'd be crazy. You're right. Nothing bad can happen now. Wait, how much time we got left? No one's going to die. Well, I'm going back to my cabin to sleep. What if somebody killed right now without knowing this, but the morning barely started and she already left. I suppose it's a good time for us to disperse. I'll be looking for those who aren't at the bistro so I can tell them the news. 
Yeah, that was a pretty cool way to do a flashback, the little glitch. That was cool. I'm leaving as well. See you later, everyone. He looks like he works at Wick Donald's. <laughs> From New World Order. I decided to head back too after everybody left. That announcement was pretty weird. What's with the anti-motive? And why did Monokuma only choose to show himself now? Well, there's no use thinking about it. I guess only time will tell. So we're not going to figure this one out right now? Like, we're not going to discuss it? Well, that was it. That was a good one. Wow. The, the time it took to get that episode was definitely worth it. That was good. That was good. I liked it. Hope will never die.